at two feet away is what an Air Hordelux eye bulb gave you, is almost 60,000 lumens, let's call it. Whereas at two feet away, ours is giving 94,000 plus lumens. So basically, we're almost twice as intense at the same distance. Hi, I'm Brendan from Sunlight LED Grow Lights, and I want to show you a new LED. In the past, people had LEDs with the blue and the red lights and small, kind of like kids' toys. It produced plants, they grew, but they didn't give you any density and any... You get hit like Don King hairs in your flowers thinking, these are going to be great, but they didn't happen. It was like, they just didn't produce it. And you even trying going three weeks longer in the flowering cycle, it was a no-win situation because it wasn't intense enough to make the plants produce all the fun stuff we're looking for. So what we did was we studied the sun and found out what its natural spectrum is and it took us five years, but we matched the sun's natural spectrum and put it in a chipset that only uses, this whole unit uses about 4 and 15 watts if you crank it up. And this is as hot as it gets. Now, you know if this was an HPS bulb fixture, I wouldn't be grabbing it with my hand and holding on to it. It only produces as much heat. So you use, off the bat, over 60% power savings on just straight up head-to-head -head HPS versus this fixture in power usage. But then in hot seasons, you save even more because you don't need as much cooling to cool the room down as you do with HPSs. If you have, imagine a room with, say someone's got an eight light setup going and eight HPS bulbs, they're gonna crank out, you know, three and a half tons of AC that we're gonna need to cool that off. Well, you just can knock that down to 1.5 ton split with these guys and save all that power. And accelerate your plant's growth at the same time because it's giving you what the plants want, which is full spectrum light. So I'm gonna scan it get the bullseye of the light, you can catch that, but I'm trying to get the dead middle of the fixture. And that's it. So if I show you the CRI chart, that's basically every color under the sun, no pun intended, just like natural sunlight has. If you see the bottom left there, that is the chart of an HPS bulb. That's its spectrum chart, that's its CRI chart. Now this is a traditional LED. Very low lumens, like I said, but just some reds and blues, I call it the kid's toy. Now our fixture here, full spectrum, much fuller, complete spectrum chart. And as you see, it's actual lumens of the plant canopy, not what they claim in a laboratory, but what actually is measured at two feet away is what an Air Hordelux eye bulb gave you, is almost 60,000 lumens, let's call it. Whereas at two feet away, ours is giving 94,000 plus lumens. So basically, we're almost twice as intense at the same distance. And uh, if you want to check out a spectrum chart, what we'll do is we'll, we'll just take a measurement on the sun in a second. Let me get the older meter fired up. I think you see that it's like 16, it's bouncing around 15,000 to 16,000. 160, excuse me, because it's times 100 multiplier. I can't save that because it'll go away. Now I'll go over to the sun, I'll show you the other one. Well, you're not gonna see the meter here, but basically it's just a bit less. This, the actual sunlight, I'm trying to nail the angle to get it on the plant canopy, and it's just slightly lower my reading from over there. So paradoxically, our light we made to copy the spectrum of the sun actually puts more sunlight than the sun does where you have your plants at. Um, game changing as far as gardening goes because you're gonna save a ton of money on electricity, but you're gonna be able to produce better, healthier plants in less time, with less noise. There's no moving parts in these fixtures. And they're IP65 rated, which means you can hose them off in the grow room. Or more importantly, if something went wrong and a fire broke out, you, you don't lose anything. Your plants will get wet, but it won't even break it. Whereas if you put water in an HPS bulb, um, if you've ever had the misfortune of that happening, you know what happens. It turns into an arc welding unit, and you gotta get out of the way. See ya. <laughs>